I'm a 17 year old YouTuber with over 30,000 subscribers and I monetized a fresh YouTube channel in only 30 days. Here's how you can do the same and start collecting ad revenue on your videos quickly. Step one is to figure out a niche for your channel. You'll want to be very intentional with this as the type of videos you create directly correlates to your eligibility to monetize as well as your growth up until you actually get monetized. You'll probably also want to pick a niche that pays well so that when you do end up getting monetized, you'll earn more money than you would otherwise. I personally picked finance because A, it's one of the highest viewed niches on YouTube, and B, it has one of the highest CPMs on the platform, which means that when I do start collecting ad revenue, I'll earn a lot more. It's also something that I know a lot about and therefore can provide value with it. Another thing to consider when selecting a niche is its viability to produce evergreen content. Evergreen content is a term that encompasses videos that basically never die out and keep getting views over time. In a niche like finance or honestly anything related to education, videos will stay relevant weeks, months, and even years after they get uploaded. For example, picture a video called How to Tie a Tie. It's obvious that this is never really going to die out because people are always going to want to learn how to tie a tie. This doesn't even just have to be exclusively for educational channels. Just get creative and try to think of video ideas that are going to stay relevant for a longer period of time. On top of all this, you're going to want to have a clear target audience. Age, gender, occupation, and interests are the most important qualities to consider when you're coming up with this target audience. For my channel, I aim to target 16 to 30 year old aspiring content creators who watch finance and YouTube education channels. According to my analytics, I was successful. Make sure to write down all the stuff you came up with regarding your channel's niche, target audience, and the type of videos you want to create, as you'll need this information later when you actually start making videos. Once you have that done, you're ready to move on to step two, which is to come up with video ideas that have a high probability of blowing up. And don't even try to tell me that that's not useful advice because you don't know how to come up with viral video ideas. Yes, it's way easier said than done, but if you just take a step back and stop complaining about how hard it is, it gets a lot easier actually. There are three good strategies I like to use when coming up with viral ideas. The first is to write down a list of absolutely absurd claims a video in your niche could make. For example, on my game dev channel, I came up with a video called I made a game in one line of code, which seems impossible, right? This gave my viewers a question that they wanted answered, and to get the answer, they had to watch the video. So far, I've employed this strategy on my main channel quite a bit, which has led me to lots of views and greater success on the platform. However, this isn't the only way to come up with viral video ideas. Another way is to use the research tab in YouTube Studio to figure out what video topics are popping at the moment. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but keywords that YouTube Studio says have high traffic at the moment are great to base your videos around. I did this for my first video on my second channel, which I based around making passive income through a form of YouTube automation, which was no accident, as both passive income and YouTube automation get a ton of traffic on YouTube in 2023. As a result, I projected it to blow up and it did pretty quickly. It's also a good idea to eventually stick keywords like this in your titles and descriptions to increase your video's SEO, allowing it to be more easily discovered and recommended to new viewers. But we'll save that for later. Really quick, I didn't take a sponsor for this video, so I'd like to take a minute to let you guys know about my new email list. Basically, if you sign up for my email list with the link in the description, then I'll send you free editing presets, sound effects, exclusive discount codes, like you name it. And in return, I get your email so that I can promote any kind of courses or tools I end up making in the future that I want to sell. I'm a good guy, so I won't spam your email or give it to other people. And it's totally free, so go use the link in the description to add your email to the list. Trust me, it'll be worth your time. Finally, if you're ever lost after running these two methods to their limit, just pop open ChatGPT and ask it for some viral ideas in your niche. Surprisingly, it's actually pretty good at it. In general, though, not every video on your channel needs to be a quote, viral idea, as there's definitely a time and place for videos that you make that don't help you grow, but instead help you retain a loyal audience and build a community. However, when you're first starting out and have no audience, there's not really a reason to do this and you should focus on growing your channel as quick as possible. Also, it's essential that you keep these video ideas under the niche that you picked in step one. Currently, you have no subscribers, but that won't be the case for long. The way YouTube's algorithm works, it'll start by pushing your video to all of your subscribers. And if they click on it, enjoy it, and watch a large portion of it, YouTube will then start to push it to a wider audience audience, which is where your channel starts to grow. Allow me to explain why this means you can't just go willy-nilly with your video ideas and should stick to a specific niche. Imagine you're the creator of a fashion channel, and every week you post videos about, I don't know, clothes. But then one week, in a flash of inspiration, you decide to make a video about your top 10 favorite video games of all time. Maybe it's a good video and maybe you really enjoy it, but when the video gets pushed to your subscribers, they're likely not going to watch because they subscribe to you for fashion content. And as a result, the video flops. We're 
trying to blow up and monetize a channel in 30 days, so every video needs to pull its weight. With every video idea, put yourself in the shoes of your target audience and make sure your video idea appeals to them. When you've got a few video ideas written down, you can move on to step three, make a ton of videos. If you're the type of creator to upload every few weeks or every month or honestly every blue moon, Good video ideas and execution over time will eventually lead to your channel blowing up and getting monetized. But we're not looking to grow slowly, we're looking to blow up quickly. So instead, you'll need to grind out content like crazy. And when I say crazy, I'm talking like two to four videos a month with shorts mixed in crazy. Of course, it's way easier said than done, but it's definitely attainable. My solution was, I mean, it's a little cliche, but to work smarter and not harder. I took the time to hire people using money stockpiled from my game dev channel to take off most of the workload. I also noticed that I had a ton of free time in class when I wasn't doing anything. So I decided to use the school day to write scripts for my videos instead of spending time working at home where I could be doing stuff for my main channel. I hired an editor and a thumbnail designer to do most of the hard labor for me and was able to pump out two long form videos in the first month of creating the channel. Oh, and two shorts too. In the same realm as step three is step three and a half, which is to not only make a ton of videos, but to also make a ton of good videos. Unfortunately, there's not really a good way to balance quality and quantity if you're trying to monetize a channel quickly. You really need to have both. I'll be making videos about this in the future, but to keep it brief, make sure that you have good editing, a good voiceover, and try not to be boring. Try and cut the fluff out of your intros too. YouTubers that go, Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video on my YouTube channel about finance and personal investments. I'm John Scott, a YouTuber and stocks analyst of over 30 years. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here and hit the bell so you never miss a new video. In today's video lose a lot of retention in the first 30 seconds of their video and as a result the video doesn't do so hot but whatever. The last step I'm gonna share with you guys today is to promote your channel in some form or fashion. When you have no subscribers, this step is crucial. As I went over earlier, YouTube needs an audience of subscribers to test your videos before pushing them out to a wider audience, which obviously is impossible when you don't have subscribers in the first place. I was a little fortunate because I have my main channel, which has over 33,000 subscribers that I was able to promote my first video to. But you probably don't have another YouTube channel to promote to, which is fine. Advertise your channel and your videos in Discord servers, post it on other social medias like Twitter and Instagram, and make sure you tell your family and friends in real life. Hell, even step outside once in a while and go tell the trees and the animals about your channel. You never know, maybe one day they'll end up watching your video. Whatever happens though, just remember to be patient and don't get pressed if you don't succeed in only 30 days. My first YouTube channel took me about a year and a half, and I know so many other creators that have taken a lot longer. Sometimes the road to monetization is a long one, so just keep trying and you'll get there eventually. When you do end up getting monetized though, it's likely that companies will be in your inbox asking to sponsor you. When the time comes, you're going to want to know exactly what to do and how much money to ask for. So I'd recommend clicking on this video about getting sponsored on YouTube. Peace.